Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I must apologize first of all, this is the first vlog in a couple of weeks. Well, we can always get into that later, like why I've been taking a bit of time off, etc. And I'm sure most of you will get it, but yeah, I just, I haven't really missed a vlog all year. So it's just been a couple of weeks. I just needed a little bit of chill time. Well, not even chill time. I just, I was working at home. There's nothing to really show you. And my mental health hasn't been in the best place. And so I just didn't have the encouragement or motivation to vlog. And with that, I didn't have much to vlog. So I can only apologize. However, I thought I would start the vlog here because it's a really nice little moment. Me and the husband are about to make pizzas. It's Sunday afternoon and it's just really lovely weather. It's not too crazy hot like it has been all weekend. So we thought we'd make pizzas in the pizza oven and we've got everything all laid out all pretty. Are you taking some pictures for me? Yeah, but we'll take some more with the pizzas. Take some more with the pizzas, yeah. Um, Cause also I wanted to take some beautiful pictures with these gorgeous lights. I'll show you them in a minute. There's some really beautiful outdoor portable lamps. Mm. And we wanted to take some pictures with them kind of in situ the way we've been using them. Is the pizza oven ready for us? Yeah, I reckon so. <gasps> We've got to make some pizzas. Let's make some pizzas then. Are these the nice pizza what goes or are these the... No, they are good. Yeah, they They're are just, good. These are the ones that are frozen. Normally we get the ones that are fresh. Yeah, I think I think I prefer the other. Ooh, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> I think I prefer the other pizza. Oh, this smells so good. I can't you're having help with this one, are you going to do it all by yourself? I'm going to try myself. I know you're very good at this. I'm not very good at it. You are. I'm not. You are. I think I've grated it. No, I'm just the best of a bad bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite remember how you do it. You need to leave like a little crusty, crusty bit, thin out the rest, don't you? I'm going for the... You're going for the gravity technique. The gravity method. You've got to stretch the corners like that. Stretch the corners. Well, not the corners. You've just got to rotate it like a wheel and pull it. Yeah. And then you've been doing that. So like a pull out and manipulate technique. The pull out technique. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't always work. <laughs> Come on, make it round. Are you going for the rustic? Yeah, I'll just go more rustic then. It doesn't have to be round, does You're it? You're going for the stuffed crust cheese? Stuffed crust? I might go for stuffed crust pepperoni. You're joking. You're gonna <laughs> of course actually... I'm joking. Oh my God, I was going to say. Because if I could make that. These definitely can't be that big. <laughs> <laughs> right, did you get some tomato puree out? No, I didn't. Do we need tomato puree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's only small. Do you think? Too thick? Damn boy, she thick. <laughs> Do you think that's gonna be too thick? I don't want it to be too thick. Well, look like you put the smart puree in, you're already trying to stretch it. <laughs> maybe it will help me stretch it out if I open the puree. Yeah, maybe you're right. I just didn't want to go too thin because then you'll break your base. All your cheese will go everywhere. No one wants that. Mozzarella. You're not putting any oh, pizza, pizza sauce. sauce. Does that go on next? On top so. of the smart puree. Oh, it's gonna be very. You're very tomato -y. That's why I didn't really want to put tomato puree. I know, but the tomato puree is what gives that really thick, like rich base to it, doesn't it? I suppose. And the pizza sauce is more the marinara. Mum's currently in Italy, probably having delicious Italian pizzas right as we speak. Where is she again? Sorrento. Sorrento, yeah. But she's been to Cofitano, Amalfi, Sant'Agata, they're everywhere. Your pizza looks heavy. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh no. You do this every time. I know. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of Comte on mine. <laughs> love how you're like, oh, it's too heavy. Let's add more cheese. <laughs> Let's do some more cheese. And do you know what I'd really love to do as well on mine? Add an egg before it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but by the time it's sticking up a bit, you'll be able to get an egg on it. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just about making it, like, as soon as the base starts, like, doing its thing. Little bit of Comte, straight up the Comte. Mine looks like this. Alex's looks like this so far. What are you going to put on yours? Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Oh no, I've got your chorizo. That's chorizo. Yeah, potato, P tomato. <laughs> potato, tomato. <laughs> yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in. And as it's nearly done, I'm going to crack an egg on top, throw some spinach on it. I and it'll a spinach be a, idea. And it'll be a Fiorentina. You're barely putting any cheese on yours. I'm not done yet. Okay. Get our little pizza peels. Pizza peel, pizza peel. Uh oh. Come on, mate. You can do it. You can absolutely get on the pizza peel. Don't be silly now. Ah! Gotta whip it. You're going too high with it. You gotta whip it. 
Have a go. Yeah, you have a go. Okay, I'll have a go. <gasps> go. Oh, flipping heck, you're good. <laughs> you are good. Okay, I need to get hold of some basil. So, look for some good bits. Hey, Danny. Get the basil, get the basil. <laughs> So these are lights I was talking about. So they're a collaboration between Faro and Ball and a brand called Tala. And they're portable, you literally just plug them in, like overnight to charge them. And you've got gorgeous little portable lamps and they come in loads of different colors. We went for this kind of gorgeous green to match with the Faro and Ball paint. Um, I'll leave it down below in the description, the color of this paint. I can't quite remember at this moment. But Pigeon. Pigeon. No, it's not pigeon, I don't think. Oh, it could be pigeon. No, it's not. It's not. It's um, it's a type of blue, actually. Something blue, I'm sure it is. These are delicious. This is a brand new beverages brand called Arva. And this is the Yuzu and Pear Spritz. We've also had the lychee spritz and it was just divine. So we've been saving this for a really good day. And then we've got our little pizzas. I want the pizza oven. Yeah, let's eat because these look so good. Well done, babe. What a treat this is. Mm. Got coleslaw. Is there anything else you want with them? I feel like we've probably got a good... Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Great call, yeah. Is it amazing? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so, that's so delicious. It's really good, that stuff, isn't it? Mm. It's really different and it's really like... The bottles are really chic to have for like dinner parties. Mm. Okay, do you know what? I might just... I almost feel like I might just stick my entire pizza on a plate. No, I won't. Oh, the egg! Oh my God. Sorry, darling. Oh, Bobo was like, please, mama, I want some. I don't know what you've got, but I want it. I want it anyway. Oh, isn't this a treat, though? Mm. It's that out in our back garden, like some kind of like Italian cafe. <laughs> it's yours good? Yeah. Yours looks really perfectly done, then. Had a lot of practice. Mm. Almost looks a bit like microwave because you've done it so perfectly with the shape. Microwave. Whereas mine's more rustique. Mm. I'm so happy. Following on from pizzas, um, by the way, I'm really quite enjoying filming on my phone. Especially now phones are like such good quality. It's kind of nice just to be able to pick it up wherever I am and not be like, oh, I don't have my vlog camera, I'll not film. So I'm just about to do a little bit of pampering. I'm going to weigh in a couple of days and my toenails need the biggest pedicure ever. They're just dire so i thought i'd use this really gorgeous like red shade that i've got from Hermes. what shade is this this is rouge cassac cassac 64 and i've also got like a base enamel base coat i thought i'd just use them i have this box and i keep all of my nail stuff like in this box like all of my bits of bobs to soak things off i've got like my gel uh lamp i'm not looking very good at it oh that's also nice red actually maybe i might do that i love a raspberry red this is a jimmy choo hollywood red oh maybe i might use that okay but i just need all of this stuff moisturizing remover that's what i'm after so i'm going to remove all of my nail stuff what's this this looks lovely dissolvent Ooh, but i think that's for normal nail varnish not not for shellac so um yeah i'm just going to take this off redo my nails whilst i watch a film and it is that time of the month again this is a paid for advertorial with sky my once a month sky cinema film review i'm about to watch the woman king it's over bubba wow oh my gosh the size i've i've just washed my hair and look at it smells amazing it's just oh so good larry king but hello sky the Woman King, I think it came out the end of last year and it has just gone onto Sky Cinema, so it features Viola Davis. I first saw Viola Davis in one of my favourite films ever, The Help. I don't know if you've seen The Help. It is such an amazing film. It's also where I discovered Jessica Chastain, who's one of my absolute favourites. Emma Stone is in that as well, but also Viola Davis, and she was so brilliant in that film so i'm really looking forward to seeing this actually the woman king i think it is about a tribe of female warriors and i think viola davis kind of plays the leader i think she is kind of the person who leads this 
tribe of warrior women and gets them ready for battle. I kind of don't want to know more because I want to watch the film and not know what it involves, really. I can let you know tomorrow after I've watched it. I'm going to sit here, take off my nails, put on some new nail varnish and then I think I'm also going to put on some new tan. <laughs> ready for tomorrow because we're going away tomorrow just for a couple of days. And I can also let you know what I thought of the film. Here we go, movie night. I'm watching this on like a special preview. This is out 30th of June on Sky Cinema. So this is really cool. It's kind of cool that I get to see things kind of ahead of time. I've got my baby bow with me. <laughs> I need to soak off these nails at this point. Alex has literally just informed me. Scrap everything I said yesterday about using that phone. When we're doing that again, apparently the quality is dreadful because the lighting was so bad. So sorry, won't be doing that again. I now know, you'd think I'd know not to use a phone in low light, but it just looked really good to my eyes. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Um, I am today packing. Let me put you down a little bit. I'm packing because I'm going on a trip, a little retreat to Wilderness Reserve. It is over super east side of England. And I, I went there years ago actually for a Victor and Rolf trip and I've not been since. And so we're going as a little family, are we? Yes we are. He doesn't know it yet. He doesn't quite know it yet. There he is. But we are going as a little family because Larry King is hosting a special little press trip for press and for influencers for his brand new hair oil. This is it, I don't know if I've shown you yet. So yeah, this is the Spoilt for Choice oil. It's his brand new product. It's like a rosemary and jojoba argan oil blended, very watery, very lightweight oil. Perfect for like scalp treatments. If you wanna kind of put this down your scalp and rub it through, you can kind of, you can add a little bit more, leave it in your hair overnight as a treatment. Or you can also use it as like a finishing oil and just run a little bit through your hands, through like hair like this, for example, that you've just finished. Or if you want to do like a bit more of a slick back look, you can throw loads more of it on there. However you want to use it, it's absolutely beautiful. It smells divine. If you know the Larry King products well, it's just got this really beautiful like rosemary, like really garden rosemary, very English countryside scent to it. So we are going to Wilderness Reserve to celebrate the new hair oil and Larry has very kindly invited me so it's going to be like a two-day thing for press and influencers. Very much looking forward to it and we're going, like I said, we're going as a little family. There's going to be lots of free time as well so it's going to be a really wonderful trip away. I'm wondering whether or not to take this swimsuit. So there is like a jacuzzi on site. Let me try it on. It's rather sweet actually. It's rather pretty. I'll leave a link down below for this. I thought I just really love this brand and it's like a collaboration at the moment so I just thought maybe I'd give this a whirl. I just don't know if, as much as I like it, I don't know if I love it as much as my other swimsuits. Gorgeous Max Mara black swimsuit and it's got this really fantastic big Max Mara waist belt that goes with it. I feel like I would much rather wear that than this so maybe that just says it all. By the way, I am thrilled to bits with my toenails. <laughs> I did them in this lovely Jimmy Choo red, so honestly the difference, my god did I need a proper pedicure. So these will see me through now until I can properly go and see um, dry by again for a pedi. So that's great, so I did that. Finished watching The Woman King, like I said it is out on Sky Cinema June 30th, so it's coming really really soon. I thought it was genuinely brilliant. It was a fantastic cast. I didn't realise that Lashana Lynch was in it as well. Oh, and also the guy, oh God, I'm so bad at names sometimes. The guy in Star Wars films. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? There were just some really fantastic action scenes, like fighting scenes. The women in it were just incredible. It's really inspiring to watch a film like that, that actually has very strong female leads and it's about the strength of women. You don't often see 
films like that. So it was wonderful to kind of see it from that perspective and see a film that really champions women and the point is about the fact that the women are the leaders. The protectors, like that was really awesome. I thought Viola Davis in it was fantastic. I also like that it ended on quite a lovely, it was just a bit more uplifting at the ending than I expected. I heard a lot of fantastic reviews about it so far anyway, so I was expecting it to be really, really good. I very highly recommend if you're on Sky Cinema and wanting something new. They also do have Don't Worry Darling on there now, which again, I've harked on about this a lot, but I loved, absolutely loved that film. I thought it was amazing, so that's also on Sky Cinema. I would highly recommend it, so I really enjoyed that little evening for myself last night. Enjoy a film, do my peddy. I've also got a little bit of dye at home. I've just re-dyed my eyebrows, so they're a little bit more ashy again and not so gingery red. I think that's just something I need to just do, is constantly top up my eyebrows and keep on top of them. <laughs> right, okay, now what else do I need to take? A couple more bits for me. I've got some really beautiful pieces from the Frankie shop to where I try this on. This is oversized. I mean, it's absolutely unreal. Super oversized. I love it though from the front. This is so cool. I'm packing my amazing Holm Cooper black shorts. A perfect accompaniment for everything. I've been wearing them with everything recently, especially for wearing underneath kind of elongated shirts like this. Fit nice and tight and high around the waist, and then they just fit wonderfully around the legs. Uh, the slight turn up. I mean, I designed these to be the best black shorts so I'm taking those as well for this trip. I'm going to do a shoot, I'm going to do a reel, like a, an updated Hong Cooper reel of like a few pieces that I'm loving for summer. Perfect white crew neck, a one shoulder bodysuit, this fits beautifully. So I'm going to pair those with my black shorts. I have a couple of the newest bags to take with me. This gorgeous rattan with a tortoise shell handle and this is such a wonderful shape it's a suede taupe with silver hardware elongated strap as well so i'm going to take those two to shoot i've also bought this beautiful cream waistcoat i'm so into waistcoats right now found this one online okay just to show you with a pair of shorts i'm not going to do these up fully what do you think kind of that style black shorts cute cream Waistcoat, such a gorgeous shape. I love this colour of like ivory cream. I'll leave it linked down below though. This, I'm pretty sure this is the one. Everyone went mad about it when I think Rosie Hunterton Whiteley wore it a few weeks ago in Eden Rock. And she, this is the one she was wearing. I'm almost certain it was this one. It is beaut. I'm just waiting for the matching trousers to come out and I'll get those too. I'm going to carry on packing. Also, might wear these. This is like a, like a new in, new in things. I've got, I bought these new sneakers. I know it might seem strange, Victoria wearing high tops, but actually I have a number of high tops and they're my most worn kind of low flat shoes. Like I always wear them to gigs. I wear them to like evenings out where I know I'm going somewhere that's a bit more dingy and dirty. <laughs> and so I love a white pair of high tops. So I treat myself to some new ones. We are on the road, on our way to Wilderness Reserve. It is, like I said, super far east. It's over towards like, Sus I think it's Sussex. I wanna say Sussex. My geography is my worst trait. My geography is really, really dreadful. But I know we're going east. We're going like right across the country. Alex is up in driving mode. In the new enormous truck. Loads of room though for baby in the back. He is absolutely cosy woozy, and loads of room for me up front. I've been sewing my button back on my trousers because I lost a button on my shorts. It's been having a little chat on our way to wilderness. I'm hoping it gets slightly nicer. It's so humid right now, like it's suddenly got really humid outside. I'm just hoping that by the time we get there to the coast, it'll be so beautiful and really, really sunny, and then we can just get in the swimming pool and chill out for the day. We are here. We have made it to Wilderness Reserve. We are in the top floor, in in the attic space. So it's this beautiful little view out the windows. It is just idyllic here. Wardrobe. I've added all my stuff into the wardrobe, and then through this little higgledy piggledy room, we have the bath. And again, it looks out over this garden area. Down there, they have a big green egg. So we're going to be doing um 
It's gonna be someone cooking for us. So just down here, we have our own little garden area. Everyone is inside of this house all together. We have our own garden area, someone's gonna cook for us. We have our own pool and jacuzzi. I just had a massage, feeling so good. And so we are just gonna wait. So it's a couple of hours now until uh, dinner is served. So I thought I would just get myself ready. I have all of the Larry King goodies in the room. So this is like the whole Larry King styling finishing range. So there's a curl enhancer if you're someone that does have curlier hair or you have hair that you just want to help nurture into a curlier finish, then this is your gal. My Nana's Mousse is just one of the most unbelievable mousse products. Like I put this onto my hair every time before I dry it, after I've had a shower, I will put this on. I also use this if I'm doing a bit more of a slicked back bun style and I need like a mousse. I will use my Nana's mousse. It has an amazing smell to it. Spoil for choice oil. This is Larry's newest product. This is a rosemary, a jojoba and argan oil hair oil. Um, I think I mentioned earlier, it's for styling. It's also mainly for like a treatment. So if you want to treat your hair overnight or just throughout the day, you can put this in or you can use it as like a, an oil finishing product. And it now comes in minis. So it's perfect for little travels. You've also got the velvet texture clay. So this is like a thicker putty kind of clay um, to work definitely shorter hair. Then you've also got the volumizing hair mist, which is one of my, it's been one of my favorite hair products now for a number of years. The smell of this is unreal. It's just pure like rosemary smell. It smells insane. And again, I just spritz this through my hair before drying to give it loads of volume and body. Yeah, and then this is the social life for your hair cream which is a cream that i use this is the jumbo size of the cream that i have with me literally everywhere i go i take a small version of this which i'll show you in a second but this is the large the large super sized version of that but but what i'm referring to is the flyaway kit so inside the flyaway kit you get a little brush and you get a small social life your hair cream and it's called the flyaway kit because obviously it's kind of thing you take on like trips and to travel with because it's so small and a cute little um, travel kit but equally it's for flyaways so it's just quite a clever little name so like I said I have these literally in every single handbag I don't leave the house without it because I struggle with flyaways and then you get this little tooth comb so you sort of put the cream on your hand or on the brush and then you can use this to brush through any of your flyaways I mean, it's amazing if you've got your hair, especially like slicked back for the day as well, but I keep this with me. You can see how many flyaways I have. And this is just my savior. I, like literally, I don't leave the house without it. So these are like the products from Larry, but equally, you may not know, he also has his own range of shampoos and conditioners. And that includes City, Good and Social Life Shampoo, depending on your needs um, and what kind of shampoo you like. And then Liquid Hair Rush is just this fantastic conditioner that's just super softening um, and amazing if you've got tangled hair. But I mean, look how gorgeous the bottles are, like super sustainable. They're just, yeah, amazing. Bo's here too. I bet he's lost, it sounds like he's lost his ball. So he's upset. Oh no, it's a drone. Oh, it's a drone's going up, that's why. I think he's getting upset. Right, I am now gonna get my makeup on and get ready. Bling with the outfit. 
Oh, look at this. So the Larry King team have just made the most beautiful display on the table. It's so rustic, it's so Larry, like rosemary. There's even rosemary scented tea lights to get the full effect. And then in here, the uh, chefs have been making things on the big green egg. They've got salads all laid out. Potato, oh wow, look at this potato salad. The bread looks sensational. There's cheeses! <gasps> and all the meats from the big green egg. This is just unreal. How fabulous is this? Over here, there are pictures of me. <laughs> I mean, look how cool this is. Very grand, guys. Very grand. Those little food. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hello, husband. Had a really lovely sleep, although warm, a warm sleep, and really fantastic evening, as you saw. We all just sat around this beautiful big table all night having drinks and really delicious food and i think we went to bed probably about 11 ish so it wasn't super late which is always really nice when you can kind of keep to your your normal bedtime routines i've decided to wear the same thing i was wearing yesterday <laughs> because i really liked it and i only wore it in the car here so i'm going to wear it a little bit now and then i do need to shoot a little reel with my holland cooper pieces so i might do that in a bit but i thought we'll go down we'll look for some croissants and some coffee first then we'll see what everyone else is doing i've just got myself ready my skin is like uber glowy at the moment and it's always because i've got so much of the so much of the clay de Poe spf on for obvious reasons but it just makes my skin so glowy but i love that glowy look i'm not gonna set this extra blending might be needed here just a little bit it's a little bit of extra blending there's a blend 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 perfect and then i think uh today's daytime scent i've got two scents with me i have armani rouge malachite for the evening, my favourite perfume of all time. And then for today, I have Fleur, missing person. Because it's just a really great, like, clean skin daytime scent. And it's so good. It's, yeah, so good. Okay, husband, I think we are ready to go down, see everybody, show them we're alive, bring the dog, he probably needs a wee. We've decided to come into South Wales so we can see it. You guys know how much I love a seaside town. Cornwall is my favourite, and so we thought we'd at least come and see Southworld because it's literally like 15 minutes from wilderness. So we've just got ourselves some fish and chips. Fish and chips, and we're sat out looking at the beach. It looks like looks like the Maldives, babe, look, with the light blue and the dark blue. <laughs> so yeah, we've got we've got we've got scampi fries, mushy peas, gravy. There we go. Oh wow. God love scampi. It's my favourite. Here's your mushy peas. Oh, mushy peas. Thank you. Thanks so much. Gravy. The adventures of Bo. Alex and Bo. What a very cute little place this is. Right, where are we up to? First of all, this room is such, such a mess. I just need, I just need to get it back to tidy because. I hate when a, like a room, like a hotel room or a resort room is tied untidy. It just makes me like stress out. I'm gonna get that tidied. And then I have another massage. I'm very, very lucky um, that the girls let me have another kind of head and shoulder massage. Well, shoulder and neck massage. And then I'm going to have a scalp treatment massage with the new Spoil for Choice oil. I was gonna do it last night, actually. And I messaged Larry and said, can I put some in my hair overnight and then blow dry my hair in the morning maybe? And he was like, no, save it so you can have a proper in like an Indian head massage with the masseuses. So I was like, okay, perfect. So I'm going to nip down in a minute, get a gorgeous Indian head massage. And then Larry then will be able to do a full, a full like blow dry and hair do on me, which I'm really excited about. It'll be just nice to get, because my hair actually at the moment, because it's so hot outside, I think I've burnt it a few times recently, accidentally, down my down this part of my scalp. It's a little bit dry. So um, I'm quite looking forward to this actually. Just before I nip down, I'm going to very quickly tidy and clean this room, and then I'll be right back. Okay, second night at Wilderness. I'm ready for the evening, and I'm wearing... Beautiful Holland Cooper white dress with the gold straps. Just about to have my hair done by Larry using all of his products. I've just finished off very glowy basic. Why does it always, when you get into the window, that's when you see you need to blend. 
Oh my god, Larry did my hair. Look how big. Look how big it is. We're having another beautiful meal. Husband, show your new hair. Larry, Larry cut Alex's hair and it looks amazing. Look at this. Give it a couple more. It's months. so badass. I love it. Yeah, we're just having a wonderful evening again. Good morning, guys. Back. Welcome back to the very, very pink room where I look extremely red and pink. Um, we're just packing up to head home. We're gonna stop off en route and get like a lovely cafe brunch, I think, and then just do the whole way home. I actually have some good news that I really wanna tell you about, actually. The, so the team last night let me know that I, if I wanted to, I could have like my own Larry King discount code. For any of you guys who are massive Larry King fans, if you buy the shampoos, or maybe you are someone who is obsessed with his styling products like me, I have a 20% off discount code. Victoria 20 and that code will last like for the foreseeable so just remember it so every time that you want to go and buy new Larry King 20% off with Victoria 20 so it's just nice and easy to remember and that is on the Larry King website that'll get you 20% off everything on there it is an am absolutely amazing it's an absolutely amazing discount code and when the girls asked me I was like how much discount and they're like 20% I was like Yes, please. Yes, please. Because I know you guys all love that and it's actually a really brilliant discount code. So yeah, 20% off. Any Larry King hair care products. Um, we've had such a fantastic time. It's just been a real chill out time for me and Alex and the dog. And just being with the team and hanging with the team. And obviously like Larry is like a bestie. So it's just really, really wonderful to have been brought along. Very thankful. It's been a wonderful few days. We've had gorgeous weather, gorgeous food. So yeah, I am full on food and happiness and life right now. So we're gonna head home now and I'll see you when I'm back. Oh. Good morning guys. I'm gonna fix this any moment, but I just thought it'd be nice just to have like a sit down, chat with you. I've got half an hour before a couple of different calls today. I'm feeling, but I'm feeling really, really fantastic. I'm feeling really, really great today. Thrilled to bits actually. So um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a yeah, get ready with me really quick whilst I talk. So it's going to be more about the talking and chatting. The Clay de Po, the serum. Um, I'm trying to get that. Well, in fact, every day I'm trying to get that very like glass skin look effect on the daily really at the moment. So just really hydrated skin and quite a low amount of makeup. I just want it to look almost just like skincare. It's sat on my skin. I just washed my hair, hence why it's just back a little bit. I just don't quite have time for everything this morning. I've been doing loads of emails. I'm just gonna go in the Lumine under eye. Vegan Collagen Eye Serum, this is really nice. It's like a really, it's like a super lightweight gel. And I'm just gonna add a little bit on my finger first. It's like so, like a really gorgeous clear gel. And I'll use a little tip. This is great for mornings when you've got quite puffy under eye band because it's helped cool them out. Anyway, I've been Working on buying things for the new apartment. Um, and I'm just gonna go into the brand new, this is the brand new Clay de Peau Brightening, Concentrated Brightening Serum. Like this is fantastic if you want to help to improve any dull skin, dark circles, any uh, sort of like those sun damaged spots. This will just help to reduce the appearance of those uh, while brightening the skin. The, the thing about Clay de Peau, it's so research orientated. The point of this is to work with your skin's microbiome, which will in turn help with kind of dull skin. By the way, this isn't now, they haven't asked me to talk about this, I'm just very passionate about this brand. Um, but I am an ambassador, just so you are aware. But this is their brand new serum. Anyway, so I can carry on talking. Um, this is going to be a full Clay de Peau thing. This is the emulsion, the protective fortifying emulsion with SPF 25, but I will be going over top with some, some more Clay de Peau. Sorry, but it's... It's just what I use. <laughs> um, anyway, I spent all day yesterday buying things for the new apartment because obviously I am kitting out a full apartment from scratch. And so I've had to buy everything, literally from ladles to knives and forks, to cleaning products, to shampoos, hand washes, down to things like rugs, tables, books for the coffee table, um, florals, vases. Oh my God, I mean, uh, the list, the list goes on. I must have bought maybe 150 things yesterday. With no joke, probably about 150 things. Like I was buying things from like H&M Home, from Olivia's. I was buying like plant pots from Hortology and handles, like door handles, new plug switches from Buster and Punch, etc. 
It took me all day. One sec, Butch is messaging me. Yeah, there's just so much to be organising right now. Going with my SPF 50, honestly, this this must be, so this is a UV protective cream UV, um, SPF 50. By far, like, my favourite SPF I've ever, ever, ever used. I've got a lot here to put on. So I need to put a lot of your SPF on, people. Two fingers worth. But I just do a massive blob. <laughs> but it's all coming together, guys. And I can't tell you how excited I am about everything. Like, the mirrors are arriving. All, like, the huge mirrors for all the rooms. The dining table and chairs are coming tomorrow. I've got them from Olivia's. They just found, like, the perfect style that I really, really wanted. And I've just ordered the sofa. The sofa! Oh, my God. It's, like, the biggest piece. It's the biggest piece of the puzzle. I've left it until the last minute to order it. But I've been so lucky here in that... So I've ordered the perfect sofa that I found. It's from Andrew Martin. I have a number of Andrew Martin cushions actually around the house. So I went looking on the website because I know that he does sofas, etc. I found like the dream New York City style apartment, white chunky fat sofa. And it's exactly the perfect thing. And so I've just, I've just put my order in for that. And the lucky thing about it is that because it's such like a famous favorite sofa, it's so popular. They have the white linen version in stock constantly. So I'll be able to get it in the next week. The next week, the next week. So things are like coming together so amazingly right now. So this is the point I'm at. I've got incredible skincare on, so my skin is glowy and looks fantastic. Now I just don't want much more on. That's the thing. So what I might do is just use some Armani. Luminous Silk Concealer in three. Just in a few different places and I'll just rub it in. Yeah, so it's all coming together. Me and Alex are gonna go to Manchester in a couple of weeks so we can see the place. What I wanna do is I'm gonna film a video for you of us like decorating the flat. I kind of want it to be like a start to finish. This is us decorating the flat style of video so you can see that everything coming together, like I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to do that. So I thought that would just make really lovely content and it'd be nice to look back on of us like literally putting everything together and laying everything out and designing it. So I think you guys will really enjoy that video. So that's what I'm going to do. Right, I've put that concealer on. I'm now going to put some of the Laneige cream skin over top. I'm going to use, whoop, I'm going to use the Vive 119 concealer brush and just start buffing this in. Yeah, I think that you guys will really enjoy that video and I'll enjoy looking back at it. So I'm gonna do that. So in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna go up and see Butch there and they're gonna record a video of us decorating the flat. It's all gonna to come together nicely. I can't wait and I can't wait to show you how it all comes together because it's starting to look really amazing. Like we've just had all the painting done. I've had the lounge painted in Farron Ball Skimming Stone. So it's this really beautiful like warmer beigey tone that's not too beige it's kind of like somewhere in between um so i've just had that done and then the bedroom is in lime white so it's like a white with a slightly greeny yellow undertone which will work so perfectly with the tones that we're going for in that room because there's going to be a lot of okras a lot of mustards a lot of um camel tones so the lime white the farron ball lime white and i think we've gone for the dead flat version in that it's a uh, it's a new it's a new finish from Farron Ball that we saw in the store and it's like it's just an extremely matte finish but it's very uh, usable very durable so we've gone for that and then in one of the rooms we've gone for like a wallpaper finish that looks like stone so it looks like do you know that kind of very scandy paint effect that you can get if you like go over the walls with like a bit of a stone wash turns out that to do that not only do you need a certain type of paint, but you also need a hell of a lot of patience. And apparently it can take a painter seven days to get that done. And I was like, no, thank you. So we've instead bought a wallpaper that mimics stone and it's super thick and it's really insane quality. Like the painters were in there last week doing it and they were like, this is unreal. The Clé de Peau blush in three. I just want something that's a little bit corally toned. So I'm just gonna go for this. So yeah, so we've had the painting done now, which means we can start to get the curtains in because the curtains are on order and the bed, the bed head is on order because we have the bed, the bed is already there. We've ordered, well, you saw what we were ordering from Vice Spring. That's already arrived. Like the service is unreal. I arrived within about four weeks. So I can't wait to show you that. It's really stunning. Some of the new VB Beauty. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. Contour 
sticks. This is in travertine, I think. I'm excited for this. So we've got this vice spring bed, but what I wanted was a bespoke headboard made, something really retro in like a velvet. So I have commissioned a bespoke headboard to be made, and then we'll just push the vice spring bed up to it and create the full effect and it'll be hopefully it'll be absolutely perfect i hope when it's all together so that's that is going to be made soon and put together so we just need the curtains in so yeah really getting there now guys i'm feeling really excited about it can't wait to start taking some like, outfit pictures in there and yeah using it as my little office my little side office whenever i just need some time away and i just want to like take time because Manchester is not that far away at all and so I'll be able to go up there and utilise the space. So my skin is looking exactly as I wanted it to, like skin, just a little bit more enhanced. Those, that contour was absolutely unreal. That is so good. Let me see what this looks like as a on the eye because that could be really, really, really nice. Yes, very pretty indeed. Love. I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to add the VB mascara because I'm a massive fan of this. I just had my lashes LVL, an LVL lash lift. I don't know if I've mentioned as well, but they've actually changed their formula and it's now called the, um, Ser I think it's called the Serra, Serra Lash. And it's a new formula, it's a little bit quicker and it's slightly, slightly better for the eyelashes. So I've, I've noticed actually the condition of my eyelashes is so much better. Or maybe it's Serra Lift, Serra Lash, Serra Lift. Anyway, Nouveau Lashes, if you ever want to get an LVL lash lift. Not only do I have a blog post about it on In The Fro that will show you more of the process, just in case you're wondering, but also just on their website you can type in and look for a salon finder, like somewhere that does them. Then I also had my brows laminated and dyed. I mean they have started to go red again, that's what I think. So yeah, I've just had a HD brows and then a um, LVL lash lift. So I'm just feeling a lot more put together. Something's not right on my face. There's something I'm not happy with. And I think it might be my lip colour. I'm going to go for this. Love this. House Labs Rose Matte. Just over the top. There's something a little bit more. A little bit more pinky. Look at this glow though, guys. Oh. Also, I'm, I'm obsessed with this cream skin thing. It's really great. Anyway, I'm going to, yeah, put that on. And then I'm going to go over the top with a little bit of the NARS or yours. So I've got like got 50 different lipsticks on now, but that's better. Anyway, sorry, that was a really, really big update chat about the flat, but I'll, yeah, chat to that. It's literally all consuming. It's all consuming for me right now as it's all coming together. Like the final things are coming together now for the flat. That's why I'm just so excited and so like about it. So yeah, I have a call with my team and then I've also got a call with Edgy Bemba. So, I'll see you soon. Right. I am going to hold up here for my different calls. So, I'm having a call with my team, and then after that, I'm having a call with Edge of Ember to talk about my fourth collection. So, for this collection, I would almost love your input on this, actually, guys, because I'm thinking about expanding my gold and diamonds collection. Like, I love that collection. The thing I love the most about it is that they are super long-lasting pieces. The fact that golden diamonds are never going to tarnish, they're just going to last you so much longer. Like the kind of thing that you would buy now and keep forever because they're gold and they're diamonds and they will hold their value. And I've got some ideas of the kind of pieces that I would add into this collection to expand our existing gold and diamonds collection. So if you didn't know, previously for Edge of Ember I've done three different collections and the majority are gold plated, 14 karat gold plated or stainless steel. And then we launched the gold and diamonds collection with real 14 karat gold and lab grown diamonds. And I just adore that collection. So I really want to expand that because when I asked you guys last, like what do you really want to see? So many of you, like hundreds of you said, we want to see gold, things that we can keep forever. Sorry, one sec. I just need to log into Zoom. Whole team are probably like hello i would love to hear from you guys what kind of shapes would you like if you could buy something in gold bearing in mind it's going to be more expensive gold is not cheap and we try and make things as affordable and and as competitive as possible so bear in mind that things aren't going to be you know the price of costume jewelry pieces but i'd love to know what you'd like is it rings is it earrings is it more necklaces 
what are you what are you wanting to buy for your own gold jewellery collection? That is what I'd love to know. I'd love to know any input of what you would like me to make you because we're at the point of literally designing the next collection. I've got a few ideas of what I want for my own jewellery collection. So I'd love to hear from you guys. So let me know what you think. And um, yeah, right, I'm gonna do these calls and I'll be back.